It is a nice frosty morning up here at the off-grid property. Ken and his crew are already here. Now we get to get that last gable wall lifted and in place. And then we'll be on to rafters. All right, they're getting ready and set to get the other gable end wall up. Here we go again. Getting the roof presses up. This is going so fast. I really like how he does it because I thought they had to climb way up to the peak and I didn't want that. So I like how they're doing these presses. Thumbs up.
again.
Boy, does that look nice. We got all the bigger roof rafters up. Now we gotta work on setting the lower ones for the powerhouse and the bathroom. We need some two by fours for the knee walls up in the upstairs. We're gonna get that done before we get too much of the sheathing on. So if we get too much sheathing on without the knee walls in, those rafters will start to sag. So I gotta run to Lowe's. So I should say, we're gonna go run to Lowe's while they're putting up some of the plywood. And we're gonna grab what we need for two by fours for the knee walls. Made it to our local favorite store.
found anywhere. Let's head on back up to the off-grid property with all the lumber we have now and get our knee walls built. And then we can continue on with the plywood. Oh, I can't wait to see one of the roof sides all closed in today. It's going to look so nice. It'll be interesting to see if we get it all weather tight today or not. Tomorrow comes the rainstorm, so whatever we don't get done today, I don't think we'll have time tomorrow to do it. I think it's gonna start raining like first thing in the morning. Man, does that look so nice. I can't show you guys that yet, but it looks nice, trust me. Ah, it looks so nice driving up and seeing that. Oh yeah.
We are so close to having this thing watertight. We've got probably two more rows up on this side, this side, and then we'll also build the lower rafters. We have all that material cut for the rafters. We need to cut our six by sixes for the uprights. We need to build our header. We have all that material here. So if the rain holds off a little bit tomorrow for us, we might be able to get this weather tight or close enough where we can put a tarp on it. So. We don't get rain in here. It is looking good. 
We're getting kind of the layout going on upstairs. I'm not gonna show too much of that because we'll wait till Jean is here. She hasn't seen this part yet. It is looking awesome. I'm gonna cover up the chop saw before I head out. Put some house wrap around that so we don't get we don't get that wet. Everything else upstairs I just picked up. Nice and neat. We're almost done working up here, which is awesome. So our lower rafters are resting on top of our upper rafters. I cut all those yesterday. They fit nice and tight. Same with there, and then we gusseted both sides with plywood, so that's on there good. We're two foot on center. That's looking really good. The side's all watertight. We got our knee walls up. We gotta do collar ties. That knee wall is done. Put our steer, put our steers in, and we're gonna be good up here. Look at this sunset. So beautiful. I love living in God's country. It's like a picture every night. Can't wait. All right, let me get this covered up before I forget, and I'll see you back at the homestead. We have had another great day of building up at the off-grid property. I can't believe how much work we got done. And a lot of this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the wall lifts. I wanna thank Wall Lift for sending us up these lifts. They have worked awesome. There's been a little bit of a learning curve with them, but we got it figured out now. They work good. And I couldn't imagine trying to lift those gable end walls, all built, sheathed and everything, with the roof rakes, um, ladders, whatever you wanna call them, the Oh, the eave overhangs already built, plywooded, and put on. I couldn't imagine being able to do that without the wall lifts. I don't know how we would do it without the wall lifts. The, those walls that got away oh, at least a thousand pounds, if not more. So they go up so slick with the wall lifts. This isn't a sponsored video. I reached out to them. Ken was telling me about them, so I reached out to them, and they sent us some to try. And Ken has them. He's going to be using them in his future bills. But man, they are. So slick, it's just amazing how well they work. Next time me and Gina do a build, we're gonna have to go back to Ken's place and borrow from, if he'll let us borrow, maybe he'll rent them to us. Whatever it is, we're gonna be using them. They work awesome. This build is going so good. I wanna thank Ken and his crew. They have been working amazing. If you guys haven't been following along on Ken's channel, I recommend going over to Ken's Carpentry, it's the name of his YouTube channel. Go subscribe there, watch his videos. He's gonna be having different build series coming out once he's done building with us. So thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. I'm excited to see how much we get done in the next video. Thanks for coming along. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.